hey YouTube this is Aman and uh, this in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to install Laravel in IIS 10 Windows Server 2016 uh, basically I have no idea about Laravel framework but uh, as a part of my client work I did install so I like to make a video about, about it as I saw there's low resource in uh, Google so let's get started uh, to install Laravel we need uh, PHP uh, 5.6 so we're gonna download PHP 5.6 uh, for Windows non thread safe version this one so sorry uh, x64 make sure you have x64 so I'm gonna download this one so already downloaded this and we're gonna extract the PHP and add it to IIS if you have a uh, web installer Microsoft you can easily do that mm, I'm gonna ask uh, PHP I'll make a directory in here as PHP I'll put this file in here PHP 5.6 so I have to create uh, PHP INI so let's copy the production and make it to PHP INI okay our INI file has ready so now we're gonna go to IIS mm, sorry we open the IIS server manager information service uh, I just installed PHP manager so I'm gonna just make it easy PHP manager uh, register new version I have currently 7.12 but I'm gonna change it to uh, 5.6 PGI okay so we have PHP in here so we're gonna change PHP and uh, we're gonna enable some extension in here uh, such as enable extension uh, we have installed currently enable curl gd uh, get text I don't need that one uh, mb string mysql mysql i open ssl uh, need, don't need swap uh, also don't need xml parse and we're gonna we're gonna need it x if I don't know what how to how to spell mm, then we need php pdo where's that one php do mysql uh, this uh, pbz to in case and uh, I don't need it right now php pdo I think uh, pdo is enough maybe uh, I think pdo mysql 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 okay I think uh, we have done the extension part so we're gonna just uh, manage rest other settings like uh, extension directory uh, let's extension e x t e n extension extension okay the directory path is the directory path cgi dot ports ports redirect to zero okay it's okay uh, cgi dot fix uh, path info value is uh, one it's okay too uh, first cgi Sorry, the mistake. First CGI impression red uh, is one. It's okay too. Uh, first CGI logging. Uh, logging value is zero. It's okay too. So we're gonna se uh, select date and time. Date. Date and time zone should be changed. Okay, well, let's just keep the format as like as. 
Are we gonna create another one as a season session entropy is zero? Session entropy is not here. So we're gonna add F E S S I on session entry R O P A Y underscore L E N G T H uh, the value should be 32 and section is PHP so we have done the part of uh, PHP configuration so let's check the handler module in here handler mapping uh, PHP 5.6.30 okay this one is here uh, we're gonna remove this one because it's previously added so okay our PHP is um, uh, configured so now we gonna uh, download the Laravel uh, let's go to the Laravel then uh, github then the Laravel and the clone zip download a zip file Laravel master the zip downloaded and we're gonna download uh, composer composer uh, download uh, composer download we're gonna download composer setup.exe and uh, we have composer in here so let's get started first we go to uh, the let's uh, create a new section in here as add website uh, site name let's make it Laravel I think the name is okay the directory let's create a new directory in here as um, Laravel and open it I'm gonna select this uh, Laravel and uh, still I'm gonna give a domain name in here Laravel dot now dot XYZ make sure you have point out the domain I'm gonna create I'm um, I could have created a local host but I um, don't think it's good so I'm gonna I'm gonna host it as laravel dot now dot xyz okay so let's uh, extract the laravel to the directory uh, control X and laravel and paste it here uh, now we're gonna extract the laravel in here I'm gonna put all file in here as section and delete the main one and okay you can see that uh, env.example we're gonna edit this one and save as new as NV and save it okay we have NV okay now we're gonna install uh, the composer um, it's taking time okay run composer uh, it's asking for PHP location uh, you should select the your PHP version I'm gonna select PHP 5.6 the directory location next okay MRS CD 11 deal missing okay uh, I have to install some stuff visual studio okay I'm ha I have to select download the uh, Microsoft Visual Studio reestablish what I say C plus plus two zero one two this one uh, as I miss that part download uh, I'm gonna download both version sixty four and eighty six and uh, I'm gonna install both uh, let's 86 run uh, 
a green tone. Okay, now 86. Okay, 86 install. Uh, 64. Uh, 64 bit. 64 bit uh, install. Okay, now I can install the composer uh, next next so let's select 5.6 PHP and next uh, next next running the installer okay it's asking for to reboot the computer in case it's not work I, we know that to add in uh, environment variable we need to restart so let's I hope we don't think uh, we have don't like uh, have to give a restart now just finish uh, okay so we go to the uh, okay we will go to the directory location of Laravel and here we gonna um, we gonna press shift then right click your mouse you can see that open command windows from here so in here so in directory, uh, we gonna type command as uh, com sorry composer install, and it will install the dependency that all needed. So it should take one to two minutes based upon your bandwidth. So let's pause the video until the downloads completed. So our Laravel installation has been completed. So we can uh, close the file, uh, close the term uh, CMD mode. So now we can see that uh, we have Laravel folder in here. So we're gonna select the permission. So we add uh, security. The I'm gonna permission hold folder instead of storage folder. So add it. Uh, add. You can select. We have to select. Uh, IIS I user. Uh, I'm gonna add another user as IIS I user I user, and I'm gonna give the access of the go uh, full access and apply and okay. Um, make sure okay the full I'm I I have given the permission of. IIS. Now we will go to the IIS and open the Laravel. And uh, we have to uh, you have you have to install the URL rewrite module. So if you don't have the URL rewrite module, you can see one of my video about it. So you can install the URL rewrite module. So open URL rewrite module and press click on import tools. And you can select the configure uh, configuration file. So I'm gonna open the Laravel folder, and here you can see that public folder. There is an uh, .htaccess. So I'm gonna import this file and now import. In IIS 10, this uh, this rules is not actually supporting. Uh, I'm gonna delete this rules. Just uh, delete this one and just apply it. And the rules has been added so now you can see that there is a uh, web.config file created so I'm gonna just move this file in public web.config here replace this so we have a Laravel uh, configured but one more thing if you uh, browse our site that we installed Laravel dot pb now dot xyz it says that uh, forbidden access we have to configure so it says that forbidden deny access denied so we're gonna configure one more thing uh, open uh, go to the public folder Laravel Laravel directory then you have to open a uh, shift or uh, right click and open command from here 
and in here you have to type uh, php uh, a r d i s a n space k colon g e n e r a g e generate so if you have php installed it will work so i hope php is working here okay the key is working uh, successfully so i hope now we can confi uh, configure our laravel so let's test okay uh, i'm back uh, sorry i did a restart as we added php because uh, this was not working so that's why i give a restart as we added a php as environment variable so let's back back to server manager again and go to the IIS and now uh, we know that it's asking for to give a restart so I just give the restart so you can see uh, in bindings you can see that the domain so we're gonna visit that domain uh, ignorance mode uh, domain you can see in domain you can see that it's actually not working because uh, the folder actually in public folder so we're gonna add public slash index dot php you can see that laravel has been installed and it's working here so this is all about today's video tutorial so i hope uh, you guys if you guys have any question about this i try to give this answer because i have actually not that much knowledge about it so thanks for thanks again for watching this video.